Okay guys, today we're going to be reacting to more of Haminations. Ham o nations Wait, did it just say... Hmm, my dreams... Get it, pain is the one we watched. I almost died three times. I want to see these. This. We played this before. Ah. Oh gosh. You see? I almost died just now. We must be grateful for the time we have because at any moment we can Oh gosh. Hi there. My name is Frightman. Do you guys want to hear how close I came to dying? How I have sat on the fence to twist the world. We're gonna skip this part because it's cringy. <laughs> Wait. Well, Wait, what? Wait, what was that? I didn't mean to skip. Was that? Was that? He, there's fire. His. He. Who's that? <laughs> closer and my very soul would have been expunged? How one moment was the deciding factor in a child's fate. To be or not to be was held in the balance of a single, fleeting moment. And should one misstep be taken, the scale would tip towards not to be. Did I survive because I was lucky? Because a fluke prevented my life from going out in an indifferent universe? Or was it because I was protected by some guardian angel? Lucky I don't know. It's for you to decide. All I can do is tell you what happened. Okay. Okay, this should be fun. Gather around, children. Cringe. <laughs> Never almost died again. So I guess I was just wild in for those five years before I chilled out. <laughs> so there me and my family were, watching a movie together. They're hit. I just recently moved in, and I was laying down on the ground in front of the giant cabinet that held our VHS and DVDs. This cabinet was very tall and wide, but kind of skinny. We might make some memes in this video, too. Meaning it was a little bit shaky. Our solution for this was both into the wall. But we had not bolted it in yet because I don't know if you know this, but there are actually a lot of other things that have to be done when moving into a house. And bolting the cabinet into the wall is not the top of the list. It's yep. right below feeding the children and feeding gremlins and trying bed for gremlins. Not any help for me because I was bored. If anything, I was messing everything up. Oh gosh. Anyways, as I was laying down, I was grabbing the bottom of the shelf and opening and Don't eat, it's going to fall on you. It's wiggly. My mom, who was folding everyone's laundry, said, Bryson, don't do that. The cabinet could fall. It isn't bolted in yet. No, thought little Bryson. I will not stop. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Hey, Bryson, you good? No, that didn't happen. I mean, the shelf did fall, but there's a twist. As mom was folding laundry, she had subconsciously placed the baskets around in such a way that when the cabinet fell, the baskets caught it, what? leaving me. But I totally thought that I had died, because when the cabinet fell, it created a big gust of wind. And okay, Cat, can you sit in your corner? Thank you. To me, making more wind rush past my face. I thought that this wind was the sensation of my soul flying up to heaven. He's flying! <laughs> Are you okay? Is he dead? Am I dead? Oh, he's not dead. Brody, stop. So this other time, Kyle, who was engaged to my sister at the time, <laughs> dared me to stand on his hands so he could lift me all the way up because... Fun. He was older, therefore all-knowing. So I said okay. So Kyle, who was like six feet tall, lifted little four-foot Bryson up. His arms were fully extended, which added like an extra two feet. So my head was 12 feet in the air. And to a nine-year-old, that's basically in space. I'm literally nine. Anyway, and I don't think that's I'm safe. There, I lose my balance. 
I tried to use the wall to stabilize myself, but I failed instantly, and I fell down headfirst. Kyle watched me falling to my death and activated his marine powers to catch me by the ankle. And I kid you not, there were six inches of clearance. Oh my gosh. My Had Kyle been Couldn't you survive that? <laughs> I would have totally died. Kyle later told me that as I was falling, he thought, I can't enter the family like this. Hey guys, I'm so excited to finally marry Brittany and be part of the family. I love you guys so much. So anyway, I killed Bryson. Oh gosh. Nice. Brody, stop. This next story is the Why real reason I made this video. Nice. Because it was the most dangerous. You could argue that I would have survived the other two stories. Yeah, you could. That cabinet would only have broken a few bones. True. Or you could survive falling 12 feet directly onto your head. That circle. Circle's the white guy. Maybe. But this <laughs> next story is the real deal. I would 100% have died. Cool. Brody! Stop. Mom and Dad weren't home, and it was raining outside. My brother Brayden must have been bored, so he told me to come with him across the street. Wait, why is there a kid's butt on there? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, we crossed the street in the rain, when all of a sudden, lightning struck nearby. Oh. The sound shattered the air. Is he gonna get struck by lightning? I was only like five, so this really scared me. I started crying and running back to the house. I ran to the middle of the road when suddenly my foot planted to the ground and I froze where I was. Right then, a car sped right in front of me. I was shocked, but I unfroze and ran into the safety of the house. I watched through a window as a very scared Brayden walked back to the house. He had watched me almost die after all. Just then, the car that almost hit me pulled in front of him, oh. and the lady driving the car scolded Brayden and yelled at him for my mistake, which was super rude because, one, it wasn't Brayden's fault, and yep. two, that lady was the one going way over the speed oh. limit. <laughs> Brayden came back to the house, and things started to calm down. But Is I he mad? Think about what had just okay, happened. he's not. Then the thought occurred. Why had I stopped? I was running to the house, and I hadn't seen the car, and I had no intention of stopping. It felt like I had been stopped. And Who I stopped you? For a solid <laughs> Somehow a ghost? Running in that second, the car would have totally... <clears throat> so the question remains. Was I stopped by some guardian angel, or was it just luck? I don't know. But whatever it was, I'm glad I'm not dead. Good. Yet. Oh, God. The <laughs> were almost harmed in the making of this video. Please subscribe so he doesn't die from taxes. He's and also, follow his Twitter and his Instagram and buy his merch. And <laughs> Guys, February 20th was the channel's three-year anniversary. Also, my 19 years of life anniversary is coming up on March 12th. I hope you guys like this story. I'm going to be trying to post monthly from now on, so we'll see how okay. that goes. Quality over quantity, baby. I guess this story is kind of a cliffhanger, because you never know when I could die. Will Bryson survive to live another day, or will the underworld finally catch him in their evil clutches? Find out next month on Hamination. By the way, studies show that you're less likely to die if you subscribe. Okay, bye. That's true. Subscribe to him. Subscribe to me. Subscribe to everyone except Circle. Just everyone. Just not Circle, that's all. I'll tell you when you can subscribe to him. When I'll allow you guys to subscribe. But don't subscribe now. Who am I? Maybe we should watch one more. Any short ones? Any? Yeah. <laughs> this is a funny one I watched. He's flying! My dreams! You're flying- Oh, oopsie. You broke my window! You gotta pay for that! Foolish mortal, you live in a world of my mind's own creation. Um, and now your existence is forfeit. Fall to the earth and perish. What's that mean? <laughs> he did. I feel <laughs> <Boys>. <laughs> He dead? He's not dead. He's still alive! 
guy and I'm the guy with the blue with the blue shirt and the yellow hair Spider-Ham and he looks like this And Spider-Ham is his brother Things are always really cool I get to swing around and just have fun but a lot of times I'll have some kind of disadvantage in them ah! For example in one of them the web shot out really slow You'll never catch me bad guy webs go Dead <laughs> <laughs> Another time, if I swung too hard, I would get unstuck and I would fall. Oh, oh dead. <laughs> In another one, I couldn't calculate the arcs of my swings properly, meaning as I was swinging, I would hit the ground. In one of them, there was a swordfish who was about to get run over by a car. He's so dead already. Anyways, He's when already dead, so don't save him. Only when it works. Naturally, the next step from swinging dreams are flying dreams. I Yay. I just have Minecraft dreams. Ever since me and Circle got mad at each other, then I have, have dreams of him sometimes. One time, I'll make a video one day of my dreams. If you ever want because there's a crazy dream I had. I have a lot of crazy dreams. Mostly Minecraft, but still. Get out of here. Cool. I held a jump rope for some reason. Okay. <laughs> if I tried it without the jump rope, then... <laughs> In this one Harry Potter dream, I was on top of a tall tower, and I asked the guy next to me, Do you know how to fly? No. Just mash. He was referring to mashing on a video game controller, like this. Okay. But I didn't have a controller, y so I jumped. Why would and you? I mashed, and I could fly. How do you mash in real life? Do you just go like? <laughs> is that how you mash? Probably in is. Another dream. I was in a Pokemon game, and again, I could fly because why not? But then this shady guy came up and said, "He has shades." And for some reason, it made me come to the ground and fall asleep. And then he stole all my Pokemon and items. Anyways, I hate that guy. Also, me I too. Have a one where if I my That's legs, basically circle. It feels so normal. He steals everything away from you. Yeah, I'm floating. So what? But then I get sad when I can't do it in real life. So I've been talking about the dreams I enjoyed, but now we're moving on to the ones that stress me out. These dreams are really frustrating to me because the reason I go to sleep is for some peace and quiet, not to be stressed out by fake scenarios. It sucks because I wake up all anxious and sweaty only to realize that it was fake and my brain gave me an anxiety attack for no reason. So, in this one, me and a bunch of people were traveling through a canyon and we encountered this crazy guy. He gave me Who the heck is that? Bags, but everyone was just like, walk past him, it's probably fine. So I did, but then the guy lunged at me and pulled out a needle and said, Yeah, this here, this here snake venom is gonna kill you dead. Oh, gosh. And he injected me with the snake venom, and I started freaking out. I'm gonna die! He injected me with venom! Ah! But everyone else was just like, It's fine, don't worry about it, you'll probably be okay. And I woke up out of fear. I had one where my whole family hated me. Oh, and gosh. I was stressed and sad, so I texted them and told them about the dream and asked if they hated me. But nah, it was just a dream. They still love me. In another one, yep. I was at home, and a robber broke into my house. Ah! I started running away and screaming, trying to alert my family. But no matter how hard I tried, I Oh, this is going to be a loud robber. scream, I bet it. And 
And I could only <laughs> run super slow in the back Sonic music, Sonic music, mu copyright. Go okay. Again. I'm not copyright, right? I had one dream where I fought the Grim Reaper with a spatula. And I won. That one was stressful, but I was victorious, so it's not that bad. He underestimated me and my spatula. In this one, I could waterbend, but as the dream went on, it got harder and harder to control the water. It wasn't working, and it was getting so frustrating, and then I woke up. Bryson, time to wake up! I don't want to get up, because I was trying to do the water with in my <laughs> dream, and now I'm never going to be a master waterbender, because you woke me up! Did you, you guys saw his feet. <laughs> Oh, this looks like a fun game. Copyright! Copyright! Sleeping is just logging out of your body. In this one, oh. I fell off a cliff and landed on my arm, and I woke up <laughs> That's me in Minecraft. the arm that I landed on, so that was spooky. And thus, the line between dreams and reality becomes blurred. Sorry, I'll stop making awesome quotes. In another dream, I went to the backyard of my parents' house. You're fine. I realized we have a chicken coop back there with five chickens. Penny, Goldie, Becky, Sonny, and Ham. I'll give you four guesses which one I named. <laughs> but in the dream, you guys there guess. were four chickens. Little and comment down below if you, if you can ones. comment. Aww. But there was also a duck and a bunch of tortoises. I love animals, so this was a really fun dream. In fact, this was the dream that got me interested in tortoises. And then I visited a reptile place and met some tortoises there, and they recommended a good place to get pet tortoises. And now I have Scooter and Egg, my adorable pet rocks. I love them. I also had a dream where I accidentally stepped on Egg and hurt her. I woke up and cried, and I had to check on her, but it was just a dream. She's fine. When I was young, Happy. I had one where I dressed up in a magnet suit and jumped off my back deck. And the suit magnetized me all the way to the city. And that I looked like it would hurt. The metal skyscrapers. I had another Harry Potter one, and in it, we would have wizard duels on trampolines. Shushful Kalupas! <laughs> also, apparently I sleep talk? This one time... Everyone sleep talks, even Circle. I in for college, right before I dropped out. I was asleep, and my roommate Parker was awake in his bed, and he heard me say, Mmm, <laughs> I also die a lot in my dreams. When you think about it, sleep is kind of like a free trial of death. A taste of the sweet release. A chance for our astral bodies to fly free from these limiting meat suits. And taste of the comfort and bliss that the afterlife offers. But sooner or later, we all must wake up and ponder, what is the afterlife really like? Where do we go when we fall asleep? And where do we go when our time is up? You go to heaven. That's where you go. What if when we die, we wake up? Not true. This is not true. And realize it was all just a dream. Not true. But we learned things in that dream. Oh, so what that's the lie, too. From our dreams? I mean, I mean, you do learn a lot of stuff, but anyway, you don't, you don't like... I don't think you wake wake up and have a dream. No, you go to heaven if you believe in Jesus. If you don't believe in Jesus, then you're going to go to the other place, which I'm not going to say anymore because it's just, I'm kid-friendly. That's all for me. Tune in next month for another wacky and silly Haminations video. Bye-bye! Huh? It was all just a dream.